I, would I like everybody to learn how to fly fish or give it a try? Well, the first answer is, and the selfish answer is, no, don't. Because you're going to try and take my spot on the river and you're going to catch my fish. But it's a good opportunity for people to get out with nature and relax. Well, I grew up in Northeast Philadelphia, and in Northeast Philadelphia, we, we didn't have a lot of nature. I grew up in a row house, it was 30 feet wide, and we had a patch of grass, maybe eight by 10 feet. There were about six trees on the whole block. If the closest nature was a schoolyard, where we would ride our bikes to, and played football and baseball there. As far as water, there was none. Pennypack Park was a good five miles from my home and really had no way to get there other than take an excursion on your bikes on the weekend. A friend in school who lived across the street was a Boy Scout and he told myself and my brother about it and I got very interested. So my father took me the first time and we went down, it was in the basement of a Presbyterian church several miles from my home and met everybody and was really interested in it. So after that we got to go every week when they had the the meetings and you know we learned about merit badges and and the scouts code and um, how you interact with society because at that time the Boy Scouts was a social thing uh, it was good for helping boys learn the right thing and grow up properly and the merit badges were a great thing now one of the greatest things I got from the Boy Scouts that I had never done before was camping out. We, I'll never forget, we went to a Boy Scout camp, it was Briar's camp, and we slept in tents. Uh, the first night we slept in tents, the second night it was so hot, the, the, our, our troop leader came and said, okay, everybody get your sleeping bags. Why? We're gonna go lay out on the crest of that hill in a circle and sleep under the stars. And that was one of the greatest nights ever because we all laid on our backs. There was 20 of us in a great big circle and just laid there and looked at the stars and fell asleep. The next day we did our activities and I can't even remember the activities because that night was so special. And I think scouting as an activity, as a way of life, unfortunately has fallen off. But I think it's, it's a sh that's a shame. I think video games have taken over the place of that kind of activity. And that's a sad, sad tale. I have been playing video games, if I had to take a guess, around, that's hard one, like six years, maybe? On average, how many hours do you play video games? I usually around, well, since I've school started around 20 a week, but during the summertime, it's maybe like 30. Maybe a little more. About how many of your friends play video games? Out of all my friends, I had this. I have to say at least 80 percent. Gaming is a thing that shouldn't be overused. Like there's people like me who I feel do too much of it.
I think fishing and outdoors activities should be a, a phys ed class in all schools. And I think giving children the opportunity to do these things, to, you know, to get back into nature and uh, learning about the animals and the insects and just the world they live in is very important. But I think children ought to be given the opportunity to do that. And I think they ought to be competitive, just like a baseball team or a football team. Fly fishing team isn't prone to get concussions. Soccer team, soccer games are. I think, I think fly fishing, I think outdoor, outdoor activities, I think nature things should all be taught in the schools and there should be more of a stress on them, even schools in the city. They all have buses.